Hi folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. So I've got uh, AOSP ROM of the Week for your Galaxy Note. Um, this is available for the GTN 7000 and also a TNT uh, Galaxy uh, Note. So I've got it running on both. A pretty nice ROM. Let me show you around here. Um, about phone here. You'll find the Android 4.2.2 .2 uh, running uh, AOK PMR1 Build 4, CM 10.1, Paranoid Android 3.10. So mix of three ROMs, AOK AP, CM 10.1, and Paranoid Android. Um, also, you get the soft buttons uh, by default. If you want to um, disable that, simply go to... There's two ways to disable it. Uh, one is to go to Paranoid Android Preferences. Uh, go to Interface and make the nav bar 0%, or you can make it even smaller if you want. Uh, let's say 70%. But my suggestion uh, is to not do that. Leave that at, uh, you can change it to 70 if you want. Uh, my suggestion is use um, the BAM control, which is like AOKP control. Go here, and uh, there is uh, under Power Menu, um, enable expanded desktop to be status bar visible or status bar hidden if you want the status bar totally gone. Um, and then once you enable that, you'll have an extra menu for expanded desktop. Simply enable it, and what this will do is get rid of those bars. And also you can use um, Pi controls if you want. That's also in BAM control. Uh, here we go, BAM control. And go to Pi controls here. And also if you want short, if you want to add your own custom shortcuts, you can use um, instead of this one, you can download the LMT launcher, which I had a tutorial of. And uh, if you don't want to trigger trigger this, um, yeah, it will trigger. It will definitely trigger. There we go. Um, I forget if there's actually a way to get not trigger it. Um, I forget. Uh, but it works even with the de uh, expanded desktop off. There we go. And it still works. And I think you can actually set it to the bottom and it will disable it. Yeah, there we go. If you set it to the bottom, it will disable it. There you go. And uh, you get the standard, all the standard AOKP stuff. I recommend turning on hardware back to kill, uh, kill all button, recent RAM bar. Um, this you'll be able to see here, the RAM bar, and also kill all button there. And uh, also you can customize all of these colors, which is really nice. And that's what I actually did here. Um, there we go, BAM control. And uh, navigation bar. Um, let me see here. Nope. All right. Let me actually show you uh, some of the other stuff here. And uh, here we go. You can also enable Holo Bam, uh, which enables its own um, theme, kind of a blue theme, uh, which is nice. Let me go ahead and disable it. And if you go to Paranoid Android interface here. Um, you'll be able to change all the colors that you want. That's what I did earlier. And let me go ahead and change the navigation bar color. Um, there we go. You can make it slightly brighter if you want. And sometimes, yeah, you have to enable it. There you go. So that's how you can change uh, using Paranoid Android. And uh, also you can change the status bar color if you want. Um, lots of fun stuff to do here if you want to customize all the colors. Um, you can do that with Paranoid Android Preferences and also you can uh, enable Paranoid Android Colors. This is all Paranoid Android settings. Um, you know, And this will enable these colors for the status bar and the navigation bar. Uh, for example, if I open the Play Store, you'll see that the colors change to those Paranoid Android Colors, uh, which is kind of fun and then this will come back to my normal colors. Uh, so you get Paranoid Android um, and uh, let's go to Gmail here. So I'm in phone mode. If you want to change that to tablet mode, simply go here. Paranoid Preferences. Go to Apps and uh, let's run our Gmail in tablet mode. There we go. And you can pretty much change everything, every app to run phone, tablets, all that good stuff. Uh, change it 600p and also uh, 
turn down DPI a little bit so it'll make the fonts a little bit smaller. And now when I open up Gmail, I should have tablet mode, uh, which is really nice. Alright, it's 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 just loading there. But it will show up there. Um so you can change it any way you want. And uh, I think I might have messed up the. T let me change. Let me even make it a little bit smaller. All right. And there we go. Um. So you might have to play around with it uh, to get it just right. And let me go back to settings here. And you get the standard uh, launcher from CM 10.1, uh, Trebuchet launcher. I recommend actually Nova launcher. I find it a lot faster. And also uh, wallpapers. Jelly Band wallpapers, if you want Jelly Band wallpapers. Papers. Pretty nice, a lot of cool wallpapers here. Um, but the main thing is that you can run Android 4.2.2. And of, of course, there's no Photosphere on this one. Uh, but the camera works flawless, even the flash works flawless. Let me turn this. Oops, there we go. Uh, let me try to see if I can get the flash to work, make it dark here. Well, I've tested it. It works just fine. And also, video recording works just fine also. And uh, you do have option for 1080p, if you want. And there we go. Working just fine. Um, so camera works really well. Everything I've tested works so far pretty well. And uh, also comes with DSP Manager. And also comes with Expose App Settings, which is pretty much the same thing as Paranoid Android Settings. I recommend actually just using the Paranoid Android Settings. Um, those are my kids' games, not my games. Um, so check it out for this week's ROM of the Week for the AT&T. Uh, or if you have a um, GTN 7000 also, uh, both working just fine. Make sure you use a safe kernel for installing on the GTN 7000. Uh, but if you want to get the best of, you know, the three worlds, AOKP ROM control, uh, stability of CM 10.1, and also, um, you know, phablet, tablet mode for uh, Paranoid Android, you can have it all with, uh, you know, Jelly Bam ROM, Jelly Bam ROM. And also, if you have a problem with Google search not working, uh, it will force close on you when you do a Google Now search there. It will force close. Um, just go ahead and uh, update the Google search app in the Play Store and uh, you should be all good to go there we go and simply update that and it will work and that's pretty much it I think uh, but very nice ROM the latest version 7 um, like it, it's pretty nice. I'm actually running this on several of my other phones. They're all working pretty flawless. Um, yeah, so do let me know. Try it and do let me know what you think of this ROM. And let's do a quick, quick search here. San Francisco Giant Score. There you go. Anyway, try out for this week's ROM of the week and also try to have um, like an AOSP ROM like this. Uh, and also a TouchWiz based ROM, so you have two choices. Uh, and do let me know what you think. And if you have a Galaxy Note too, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Um, try out Jelly Bam for this week. And do let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Uh, stay high on Android.